It better make sense You better make it cool Hey uh. All I want is a real rich YouTube, happy holiday season. It's your boy, Just Tim Johnson, coming back at you all as we winding down not only the holiday season, but the year of 2022 in sneakers. How did we fare? How did we do? What's our, what was our outcome? Positive, negative, indifferent, what have you, right? But the important thing is, is that we are here in the home stretch, so we still winning, all right? So there's no such thing as we taking L's if we still breathing, we still above ground, and we still have an opportunity to be productive, successful, and to keep moving forward. With that being said, we will get into today's topic, which is the 2022 Sleeper Sneakers of the Year. Now, keep in mind, people, this is all subjective. This is just my opinion. I'm definitely eager to hear what you all have to say about it, what your insight is, what your feedback is, essentially what your top five sleepers were. What shoes you thought should have made the list? What shoes you think should be excluded from the list, okay? So when thinking about sleepers, let me put this in the proper perspective before we move forward and get into today's content. When we talk about sleepers, we're talking about shoes that people either overlooked, could have potentially been sitting. Uh, in addition to that, can you go get them right now for at retail or below retail, right? Or maybe slightly above retail where you're not paying an astronomical price for it. That's what would qualify as a sleeper. Now, that's one. That's the first component of it. The second component of it, is this a shoe, one, or potentially individual or collective, we will regret not buying for the year 2022 somewhere later down the line. Let me give you an example of what I mean by a sleeper, all right? The Air Jordan 4, what the 4 came out, right? It didn't sell out immediately. Maybe I think it even set maybe for like a day or two in stores, like in like actual brick and mortar shoe stores. Now, people wish they had that shoe. People see that shoe on somebody else's foot, they wish they had that shoe, okay? The Black Cat 4 was a sleeper shoe, a 2008, uh, 20, I believe it was when it came out. If we let it sit, even some of them hit the mall in B grades, now that shoe's seven, eight hundred dollars So just to give it the proper perspective of what we're looking at when we talk about sleeper shoes, what is the projected forecasted outcome of what it's going to do later in the future and is it sitting on shelves today or is it widely available that's what we're talking about so let's get into it all right now um i want to start with number what i would consider five i'm gonna go from five to one so the less to the greatest okay number five would have to be this one all right the air jordan retro eight rui hachimura forgive me keep me honest if i'm not pronouncing the name correctly this was a collab between uh, the Washington Wizards uh, NBA star Rui Hachimura, who uh, has dual citizenship, I believe. He's a dual citizen of the United States and of Japan. So the concept, I mean, it's a dope colorway, right? It's that earth tone colorway. Uh, you got an extra pair of laces. You got the embroidered uh, Rui logo here. The box was was top notch. Here's something else too. This is probably one of the few joys that still got the wooden shoe tree because everything else got their toilet paper in it. All right, and you got the red pull tab. This is why I'm thinking this is coming in at number five. Now, eights don't really by right get a lot of love, but watch how people double. Now, this is why I say this is going to be on the sleeper. This is the sleep top five sleepers of 2022 in my subjective opinion because there are some photos that is leaked recently of an eggnog colored eight that's supposed to be like a friends and family or a Jordan brand exclusive. If that shoe get a limited release of say less 2000, watch how people double back and get this shoe. Watch what I tell you. Remember we said that we talked about this here. If that shoe ends up releasing on a limited capacity, whatever that egg not eight is, it's going to drive residual hype back to this one. All right. So coming in at number five is the Rui eight. All right. Sleep of the year. Coming in at number four. Now I initially want to do a, a in-depth video of this, but the collaborative, the collaboration between Jordan Brand and this small business and the way they, they ship it and handling done, I, I can't give y'all flowers for not doing the basics as far as getting shoes shipped out. I get it. You all have logistical issues. Every company has logistical issues and have had them since the pandemic started. So don't give us that time about what your logistics is not going to allow for you to do. You got to be flexible and dynamic to even survive as a business in this day and age. So get your strategy and forecast the team on top of their job, and then we'll do you a review. Otherwise, you're going to just fall in. With, you get in where you fit in over here. 
So with that being said, the number four is the Soul Fly 13. It shouldn't have took y'all no 28 days to ship this shoe out. All right. Is it a dope shoe? Yeah. Now I'm not a fan of this muslin colorway. Like the gray is the gray pops. Y'all know I'm, you know, my favorite color is gray. The, the Celestine or Celestine blue, keep me honest on what that is. The sock line is nice on this one. You feel what I'm saying? Like, like years down the line, people going to go back and wish. Now the problem with this is, is that this material right here is supposed to be, it's supposed to mimic the sail on an actual yacht or whatever, right? This ain't, this is not weather friendly. So if it's raining or if it's snowing, even rejuvenate ain't going to be able to protect this. Not, not to 100% certainty. Now, what I do like about this is, is right here. See if you all can see that. That one says Jordan. Let me try it again. Focus. That says Jordan on that one. And this one says Soulfly. All right. And then you see here, it has the. Focus. It has the Soulfly logo on that one, and it has the Jumpman logo on that one. Now the sock line is, is 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 this is quality. Like this is nice. Like I wanted to do a full review, but y'all didn't get this out to me. It took y'all 28 days to send out a shoe. You ain't getting no full review. So that's number four. Sleepers of the year. All right. Number three would be. I had a tough time trying to put the top three in order. Number three is going to be this one right here. This is the Yeezy 350 V2. Uh, it's the last Yeezy that came out before the building burnt down over there at Adidas. And y'all know what I mean by that. We're going to get into the political context of it. This is the one that says Onyx, Onyx, Onyx. All right. Uh, the style code is HQ4540. This is, pro this is the last one. Now, oddly enough, this don't have the branding on it. All right, I want comment down below if y'all think we're gonna see a re-release of this. Let me tell you why. If we don't, it does have the Yeezy branding in the sock line. You see that right there, right? This is all typically all black Yeezys historically have done fundamentally well over time. They end up, you know, down the line again. Projected forecast what it could potentially do in the future. The pr the price is already up on this right now. If you look on the resale platform, this is in the neighborhood of about. Probably about, uh, I want to say almost $200 over retail right now, right? And then with everything, you know, with the building burning over there at Adidas, we're going to see how they, you know, because they actually think that they're just going to screw up a couple letters off of something and then the, the consumer, the average consumer just going to buy that. No, we not. I'm, I'm done with y'all. I'm done with y'all. I'm done with y'all. Just like y'all done with him, I'm done with that. Not from a political standpoint, it's just that y'all got too much going on over there for me to be parts of y'all nonsense, all right? It's just mad chaos over there. I understand you got a bottom line to him that's impacted and you have to protect it and you got to do what's right in, in today's society and today's culture. But even before that, y'all was messy even before he said what he said. Y'all company was already messy. It just was and it is. You feel what I'm saying? The political aspects of it aside, we're not even talking about that. We're just talking about the way they run their business was, was messy. So the building is burning over there. So that's why that can't be above three. But I do project that shoe increasing marginally over the next 12 to 18 months from what it already is. The price point is already up on the resale platform. It's going to go up again. Now, we're going to get into number two. Number two is this one. All right, shout out to the trade block. I got this one. This is the Air Max 1, the Air Max Penny 1 Orlando. This was the home colorway. Now, we've seen this shoe released in 95, I want to say 2011, and again here in 2022. Let me tell you why this is sleep of the year and not on another list like GR Top 5 of the year. This shoe was almost a GR, but it was almost limited, and it was damn near collab with the way Nike released this. Some tier zero stores got it. Uh, the sneakers I've had a limited release on it, but... Check the resale on it. This shoe going for double what the, the retail price was 170. You can't find this shoe no less than 350 right now. And this size 11 and up, you you hit. Like you ain't finding it less than 350. All right. So shout out to the trade block. They come through for me. I end up popping something off to get this. This is the number two shoe on the sleeper, on my sleeper list of, of 2022. Because you may have the 2011 pair, but I can tell you now you're getting sold separation on that one. Because my 2014 pair of the all-star version of it got sold separation on one of them. 
So if you're weighing it, and if you haven't worn it, you definitely might want to check that. But six months from now, the pay is going to be dried up on this. But this was a dope shoe, all right? Now, back when this shoe first came out, back in 95, when Penny was playing with the Magic, the white one actually was more widely accepted than this one. But nowadays, as sneaker culture has changed a little bit, this is the one that's going to be on your sleeper list. This is on my sleeper list. Let me know what y'all think about that, all right? So now we wind it down, people, all right? There will be an addendum to this video on the back end. There's a video that I shot previously. It was weeks ago. I was running the release of another video, and I'm going to add that in to this one. All right, so it's the color, the contrast is going to be a little different. Let me apologize for that. Our editing skills are improving. Shout out to the editing crew. But I had to add that in just based on the next couple of videos is going to put it in proper perspective as to why that's added in on the back end of this video before we get to the outro, all right? But getting to, with that being said, this is, in my opinion, the number one sleeper sneaker of 2022. The Air Jordan 12 Eastside Golf. All right? Let y'all see the shoe for a minute before we get into the... Now, we did a review on this already over here at the Just Tim Johnson channel. All right? The leather quality on this. Now, Jordan Brown, on a lot of their collabs this year, Jordan, y'all gonna hear me talk about that in a later video too. The Jordan brand collabs, the, the, the leather quality on this one uh, and a few other ones was, was, was top notch, right? Even on that Soul Fly, like the material on it, the, the, the sock liner, the mud guard, and the, uh, the, the quilted uppers on, on 13, that's all top notch. I'm not a fan of the, uh, of the toe cap, you know, and the color. You know, like, had that been leather, it probably would have went over better. And had they delivered it on time, it would have damn sure went over better. But back to this shoe, though. Let me tell you why this is number one. This is a minority-owned company, all right? Black-owned business, Eastside Golf, all right? Two young brothers. Go check their documentary out on Hulu. Go check what DJ Khaled and Fat Joe saying about them brothers, right? They got the buzz. They didn't change the landscape on not only, not only have they added to the sneaker culture, they changing the landscape on the perspective of how minorities view golf as, as a sport now, they've made it hip. Like, it ain't been hip since Tiger Woods first came on the scene, right? So they didn't bust on the scene with this shoe and with their whole product line. They collab, they clothing. Like, yo, they, they changing the game. So you got to get them their flowers, right? Shout out to the Eastside Golf Crew for over there. Them two brothers did it, right? This shoe is top quality. Sock line are top quality. People may not be a fan of the colorway. That's fine. This is a fall shoe, maybe spring. You feel what I'm saying? But... I promise you, forecasting this down the line, people going to be like, damn, I should have got that shoe. Even look at the box, right? Like, the slide-out boxes did their thing this year. This is a slide-out box with the plastic joint. Like, even the box is top-notch. All right? You got the Nike Air branded on the back. All right? You got the, the golf venue. I'm not sure uh, who this golf is, but he got on the Air Jordan 4. Golf shoe on that one. That might be one of them brothers, actually. You feel what I'm saying? Like, they didn't change the game. This shoe is, this is it, right? Comment down below. What's your sleeper shoe of the year? Now, I know y'all gonna say, like, the Midnight Navy 6, uh, the Cardinal 3, that might come up on some of you all's list. The, uh, it was so many shoes that came out this year, it wasn't even funny. Like, I had to actually, the list probably would have been at about 10. I had to narrow it down to 5. Because it was just so many shoes. It's too many, it's too much to go into. But I want to hear from you all, everybody's perspective that's watching this video. I want to thank you all because it is a rush right now to get everything done. If you're working, you got to get all your year-end stuff done in corporate America. You got to get your payroll done if you own your own business. You got to get your kids situated. You, you getting the mindset ready of getting them back to school. You know, it's like right in the middle of their winter break or holiday break or whatever we calling it. But I appreciate each and every one of you all taking time out of your day your errands, your commute, your travel, whatever. Hey, and shout out to everybody that's going through the debacle they're going through, especially with some of these airlines. Well, that airline, y'all know who they is, that, that then canceled all these people's flights and then grounded 75%. That's just terrible. And I wish everybody a safe return home, getting back to work. Like, they, hey, as much as we complain, you, you have to put it in the proper perspective. There's some people going through some stuff a little bit worse than what we're going through. So y'all keep them in y'all thoughts. Y'all keep people in y'all prayers. Hey, 
it, it, whatever you're doing right now, I'm extremely grateful of you taking time out of whatever it is you're doing to view this content, to share this content, to provide insight, feedback, comments, like, subscribe. Hey, I thank each and every one of you all for the time you took this year to get us to where we are at this point and moving forward. Hey, I appreciate every one of you all always checking in with me. My nephew, Big Nuck Williams, Poopy D, my nephew, Unbreakable Kicks. I love you all. Dr. Will Speaks, Heather underscore Alicia, uh, Jazzy, my favorite realtor. You feel what I'm saying? Ebony, Cam, Flight, Chaotic. You feel what I'm saying? Candyman Kicks. The list goes on. Uh, the real Chris Radney. I appreciate each and every one of you all individually, collectively, the way you support me, text messages, phone calls, DMs, whatever. We own it. We own our way, people. I promise you. We shall walk this mile together. Thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you all. Comment down below. Let's let's discuss, you know, this top five. Throw in what, what y'all sleepers are because I want to hear because I know I miss some. Keep me honest. Let me know what should have been on the list, what should be taken off the list. Go ahead and say, yo, Tim, this is garbage. You should have had X on here. You should have had Y on here. We want to hear about it. People talk to me so I can talk back. It's your boy, Just Tim Johnson. Peace. You better make it cool. Hey. Uh. All I want is a real rich bitch. Real rich that is bitch. it. Two tones, it don't matter. Make it better. That is it.